Hey guys, it's Rumbling Man here today. If you do any kind of studio production or recording of instruments or voices, you really need a condenser microphone. So we're going to talk about that today. And in this video, I'm going to show you um, a great large diaphragm condenser mic by Comica that may very well meet your budget and all your recording needs. So make sure you stick with me. Let's hear it. So guys, I'd like to welcome you today to the Rumbling Man channel. Uh, this YouTube channel is a guitar and bass gear channel where we look at guitars and basses and related gear. And we have a lot of great chats um, about music and music equipment here. Uh, and sometimes we will look at a product that is not directly a guitar or bass product, but maybe an audio recording product. But the reason we do that is so that we can help you get the best sound for your recording setup, okay? so. Condenser microphones are a lot different than dynamic microphones. You don't want to use dynamic microphones uh, for audio recording. The reason is, you know, dynamic microphones already have things like windscreens and, and things like that in them. They are, they are really intended for stage use to get the best use out of a microphone you can, the best sound you can while you're on a stage moving around. If you're going to be recording vocals, you need crystal clear quality. You need a condenser microphone, okay? So dynamic microphones don't require any kind of power source. You know, they get they get what they need out of what's in the mic, uh, to make a long story short. Uh, condenser microphones, you usually will need some sort of way of powering it. And generally, that's going to be um, a 48V, a phantom power of some sort that might be on your audio interface. Um, if you don't have an audio interface, the one I most recommend is the uh, Focusrite. And that's what we're actually going to be using today for the demos of this Comica large diaphragm condenser microphone. Okay, so what I want to do real quick is I want to show it to you. I want to show you what comes with it, and then we'll take another listen. Okay, so... Um, the package is great, okay? So one thing that I really like that they included is it comes in this really nice uh, bag. You have this really nice cover for it, which is great because, you know, if you just keep the microphone around your studio, then keeping it in this bag, uh, you know, will keep it really nice. Um, and then also you can even drape this over the mic if it's sitting on a stand, okay? Uh, so I've got the microphone here in the bag. We also have a shock mount. You will need a shock mount to use a mic like this uh, so that it kind of uh, serves as an adapter to adapt to your microphone stand. And you will want a heavy duty mic stand, something that can really you know, hold a little weight because condenser mics are gonna weigh a little more than other things you might be using with your microphone stand, okay? So the shock mount will attach to your microphone stand and the microphone to have it set right in front of you. This microphone also comes with its own windscreen or pop filter, whatever you want to call one of these. Now, while this particular windscreen might not be as effective as some others that are made, I really like it because I like the material. You know, instead of being, uh, you know, kind of a softer material, it feels like it's some kind of uh, light, you know, titanium or aluminum or just something that really feels nice, kind of metally, but will, you know, in effect, help you with your pop filtering. Even if I'm recording vocals with this microphone though, I might double up windscreens uh, just because while this is really good, it might not eliminate all the pop you can get. And the last thing you wanna do is go into your <laughs> program later and be you know, automating the waves to uh, eliminate pops. And even then it doesn't do that an effective of a job. So you wanna make sure you're careful about pop filtering, maybe distance yourself a little bit from the microphone when singing. Uh, but nonetheless, it's really cool that they include this. I like the Comica logo. So about Comica, um, long story short, you know, I, this isn't the first one of their products I've reviewed because when it comes to, you know, brands that are more like overseas brands, I kind of consider Comica one of the very, very best. Um, you know, this microphone, this condenser mic runs at around $160, $170. 
and that's a pretty decent price point for what you get. Now, keep in mind, this is a more uh, traditionally formatted condenser mic. You know, the fine fine that I'm talking on right now is simply um, a USB condenser mic that I just use for podcasting and talking and videos, right? Maybe occasionally instrumental use. Uh, but this is a really serious microphone, and in the sense of being a large diaphragm condenser mic, I actually really like the diaphragm and the shape of this condenser mic more than others I've used. I like the large flat surface you have right here. Um, instead of rounding off, you know, you kind of have the width or breadth or, or uh, measurement of whatever, you know, needs you might have for placing it in front of your instrument. It's not going to curve off. It's kind of right there in front. And then I can see the mic inside of there. And it just seems like a really nice setup. Okay. So I've had this with me for about two weeks now and I've used it on some studio projects I'm working on uh, and it has gone extremely well. Um, so I think this is a really cool microphone. It seems incredibly well built. Um, I really like what all they include in the package, so it's awesome. And I will have a link in the description of this video where you can purchase this mic for yourself, but first, I know you want to hear it some more. So let's do this. Let's uh, mic up some uh, guitar and mandolin and voice and just kind of do like a little uh, audio production clip for you to listen to of the sounds you can get with this thing, uh, and then I'll talk to you a little bit more on the actual Comica microphone itself. Let's check it. I can feel you like the breeze of the ocean. I can feel you taking my pain. I can feel you like a stream in the desert. Or I can feel you. It's something I can't explain Hey guys, so as you can now see, I'm talking to you on the Comica microphone. Um, like we just heard in that demo, you know, it does great picking up instruments. Um, I love the large diaphragm, the way it picks up a guitar or a mandolin or even a vocal. You heard some singing there. And so it's great for all. Now, obviously, I add, you know, plenty of compressors and reverbs and sometimes even limiters uh, to instruments that I mic for recording. And, uh, and I do this to give them a little bit of power. Uh, maybe a little more roundness and a little more silence. But in order for me to compress anything well, I've got to be working with a pretty decent microphone in the first place. And I've got other condenser microphones in this room, but this is only one of two uh, of the microphones I have that I will actually use for recording singing. And uh, the other one is an AKG. Uh, so obviously, you know, what Comica has done here is they've, they've impressed me yet again with making a really good product. Um, the other Comica product I have is... Uh, is actually a phone tripod with a microphone on it. And I just, I really like what Comica does because they make things that, I don't know, like, like some of the more well-known companies might make, but they make them, you know, obviously overseas, they're probably manufactured, but um, they make these things and they sell them to you, you know, at a price that doesn't necessarily uh, break the bank. So I think this is a really cool microphone. And so I hope you were able to pick up some recording tips from this video today. If you got value out of this content, do me a favor and go on and click the thumbs up button. Also, if you want to go in and order this comical microphone for yourself, I do have the link in the description of this video to where you can do that. I also have links in the description of this video to all the other equipment uh, that we used and discussed today. Okay, so make sure you check those out. And I would love to have you as a subscriber here on the Rumbling Man YouTube channel. We got other great things coming, some bass stuff, guitar stuff, uh, some live chats. Uh, so make sure you stick around, hit the bell, and uh, you'll be notified when I come out with new content. Okay, so God bless you guys. Thanks so much for watching today, and I'll see you on the next video. See ya.